Our organization is expanding our use of Microsoft SharePoint, and it's hard to keep up. I'm hearing a lot about how the AWS cloud can help. Can you tell me more about it? Sure. Running SharePoint in the AWS cloud allows you to add capacity as needed, without a long lead time. You can easily scale up or down as business demands change. You can stay ahead of the curve by adjusting capacity in minutes and hours, not days or weeks. What about hardware costs? Will I need to purchase and provision additional resources? There's no need to buy new hardware. AWS offers low pay-as-you-go pricing, which eliminates the need to purchase expensive hardware and allows you to pay only for the capacity you need. AWS does all of the hardware management, so you can focus on higher value activities. I don't have the capital budget to get started. No problem. You can replace large upfront expenses with more predictable costs that scale with your business. What about licensing? Will I have to pay again? Windows Server licenses are included with your Amazon EC2 instance cost. To run SharePoint on AWS, you can deploy your existing licenses with Software Assurance through Microsoft's License Mobility Program. What is this program? Microsoft License Mobility through Software Assurance lets Microsoft customers easily move current on-premises Microsoft Server application workloads to AWS without any additional Microsoft Software License fees. This benefit is available to Microsoft Volume Licensing, VL customers, with Microsoft Software Assurance, SA contracts. How does the licensing work? One SharePoint license can be assigned to one Amazon EC2 instance, with no maximum or minimum size. One last question about licensing. What about using SQL Server instances with SharePoint on AWS? You can run your existing SQL Server licenses per the License Mobility Program, or you can buy SQL Standard from AWS with your Amazon EC2 instance. Great! Do I have to provision everything every time I need to deploy SharePoint? Or does AWS provide tools to automate the process? This is a major advantage of using the AWS Cloud. You can use AWS CloudFormation templates to easily deploy Microsoft SharePoint. You can spin up a whole SharePoint farm in a couple of hours as needed. No hardware or physical data centers are required. So, who's using Microsoft SharePoint deployments in AWS? SharePoint is being run successfully in AWS by small companies needing a single server deployment, as well as large organizations that need a highly available globally distributed architecture. Using the AWS Cloud to deploy SharePoint instances is especially beneficial for developers. You can provision individual instances for each developer, who can turn them on or off as required. This can reduce your 24-7 expenditure to just a few hours a week. How much does it cost? There's no additional charge for deploying Microsoft SharePoint in the AWS Cloud, aside from the normal Amazon EC2 usage charges and Microsoft licensing charges. As usual, you only pay for what you use as you use it. There are no minimum fees and no upfront commitments. Awesome. I think I'm ready to get started. AWS provides online training with a self-paced lab to get you started. The lab will show you how to deploy a single server SharePoint instance to AWS. Can I use this to deploy a small production instance for a few people that need it only during office hours? Yes, you can easily schedule it to start in the mornings and shut down in the evenings. Do keep in mind that this single server installation is not scalable to a farm. How do I take the training? Please complete the hands-on training for this video at run.quicklabs.com. This lab should take you approximately 90 minutes to complete.